Elon Musk finally said, I will stop Russia. In the midst of the Russian-Ukraine conflict, Elon Musk has openly ridiculed Putin, perfectly implying that he will stop Russia. The tech billionaire appears to have a solution to all of Vladimir Putin's sketches in the middle of the Eastern European battle. Elon said that he will stop Ukraine and the International Space Station from collapsing while Putin tries to destroy both. So are you excited to know more about it? Well, stay tuned. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Elon Musk Rewind. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship, or basically anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon, Elon Musk. Having said that, let's get into it. After Putin and Russia threatened to end bilateral space collaboration, Elon Musk abashed Putin by promising to save the International Space Station from falling, all thanks to a space company, SpaceX. Moscow is responsible for keeping the ISS stable by utilizing its modules. Dmitry Rogozin, Russia's space chief, issued the threat in a tweet, saying that if the US does not cooperate, who would preserve the ISS from uncontrolled deorbiting and plummeting into the United States or its allies? In the midst of the war in Eastern Europe, this was considered a direct threat to the US. Rogozin continued his threat by stating that India and China might potentially be hit with a 500-ton structure. He inquired as to if the US wished to frighten them with such a scenario, since the ISS does not fly over Russia. All hazards are borne by the United States. As a result, he asked whether the US was prepared for such a disastrous attack. Even though Russia's threats appear lethal, Elon Musk's quick tweet was aimed at humiliating President Putin by hinting that he would stop Russia. Musk reacted with a tweet featuring his SpaceX logo. His response essentially meant that if Russia ended its space relationship with the US, his company, SpaceX, would come to the world's aid. But you might think, what is SpaceX capable of doing? Or is this just talk? Well, after Russia's leave, there is no doubt that SpaceX will maintain the ISS steady. The Dragon Cargo spacecraft from SpaceX can dock with the ISS and keep it stable. Musk's devotion and desire to safeguard the International Space Station from falling is a major embarrassment for Putin, as it illustrates that the world can still function without Russia. As a threat of nuclear war in Ukraine grows, Putin and Russia have decided to stop supplying the United States with rocket engines. The discoveries were revealed during an interview on the Russia 24 TV program with Roscosmos director Dmitry Rogozin. The head of Russia's space agency announced that the supply of rocket engines produced by NPO, Energo Smash, to the United States would be halted, since his company produces superior rocket engines than those purchased from Russia. SpaceX CEO has mortified Russian President Vladimir Putin once again. By now, it's pretty clear that when Putin tries to create a problem, the tech genius always comes up with a better solution. The Raptor engine developed by SpaceX has incredible capabilities and will be used to propel the Starship to Mars. SpaceX will use the Starship, a massive and totally reusable rocket, to deliver people and payloads to Mars, which is 480 million kilometers away. To put it another way, it will travel for seven months, traversing the distance between Earth and Mars. SpaceX's Raptor engine is unsurpassed in terms of accomplishment. Perhaps it is time for Russia to keep its missiles to itself. Reports as well as the public are already saying that Putin should focus solely on the politics of Moscow. He seemed to be more effective there. Talking about his political career, he has been president and prime minister of Russia for more than 21 years and shows no sign of stepping down anytime soon. To avoid embarrassment, it's sometimes necessary to focus on your strengths. After Russian troops crippled Ukraine's internet networks, the tech icon acted rapidly to activate Starlink across the country. It was a major setback for Putin, who had hoped to isolate Ukraine from the rest of the world by disrupting internet infrastructure. However, thanks to Musk's intervention, the people of Ukraine now have access to internet services. After receiving a request from Ukraine's Prime Minister for digital transformation, he activated Starlink. While Musk is attempting to populate Mars, Russia is attempting to take Ukraine, he tweeted. He even said that Russian rockets would kill the Ukrainian civilians, while Musk's rocket landed safely in space. Elon Musk responded to the minister's tweet by noting that the Starlink service was already operational in Ukraine and that more terminals were on their way. By now, we already know how useful this internet connection is for the Ukrainians. Russia and Putin were humiliated because they did not expect Elon to respond so quickly. That is the point when Putin started to see how Musk is counter-planning his plans. The state Duma, Russia's legislative body, is considering imposing fines on all people and organizations in the country who utilize Western-based satellite internet services. Starlink Satellite Internet is its primary objective. Ordinary users will be charged $135 to $405, while organizations that use Western satellite services will be charged $6,700 to $13,500 under the new regulation. Despite Starlink's ban, the satellite internet service is expanding in Eastern Europe. In fact, SpaceX's Starlink spacecraft is currently in Ukraine. 
Over the last three years, the company has witnessed phenomenal expansion. Starlink presently has over 250,000 subscribers from 25 different countries. SpaceX has launched 2,091 Starlink satellites as of February 3rd, 2022. Musk's company hopes to launch 42,000 satellites that will provide a constant supply of internet to the entire world. The accomplishments of SpaceX are a major embarrassment to Putin and Russia. The people of Ukraine can now access the internet thanks to Elon Musk. Mykhailo Fedorov, Ukraine's vice prime minister, has successfully utilized the internet to rally tech corporations, tech billionaires, and international security organizations against Russia. He's even using Twitter to solicit funds for the Ukrainian army and civilians caught in the thick of the war. In fact, he announced that Ukraine has so far raised $50 million, stating that the crypto fund of Ukraine has raised $50 million in crypto in a week to support Ukraine. He is aiming for $100 million this week over an astounding unity before Putin's onslaught on freedom and democracy, and he is confident that he will succeed. Putin is clearly being deterred by the outpouring of support for Ukraine from the international community and well wishes. All of this is because of Twitter, which in Ukraine uses Starlink satellite internet. Without this connection, Ukraine's vice prime minister would not have been able to launch an online campaign against Russia. As SpaceX's Starlink expands into additional Eastern European countries, Putin is picking up on all the signals about how Musk is thwarting him. It is predicted to spread from Ukraine to Poland, as well as to the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Musk reiterated in a tweet that he will stop Putin and Russia and that he will continue to back Ukraine in the war. Hold strong, Ukraine, was written on his post, which had three Ukrainian flags on the left and three more on the right. Elon's words of encouragement will inspire Ukraine's troops and population to fight back against the attacks on their country. Putin has been humiliated so far since he has encountered significantly more pushback from Ukraine than he had anticipated. According to intelligence reports, the Russian president planned to take Kiev in two days. He also anticipated that Ukraine's president, Zelensky, would submit soon after the strike. The Kremlin, on the other hand, is taken aback, as Zelensky and Ukraine have promised to battle to the bitter end. The US had requested that President Zelensky be evacuated at one point, but he had told American allies that the struggle was already underway and that all he needed was ammo, not a ride. This is a good example of his support for the Ukrainian people. He also highlighted the point that they are prepared to fight Russia instead of just eloping. Moscow has admitted that Russian servicemen have been killed for the first time, but the exact numbers remain contested. According to President Zelensky, almost 9,000 Russian troops have been killed, but the Russian Defense Ministry asserts that just 498 have been killed. In any case, the loss of even a few Russian troops would be a major setback for Putin. Given Russia's military advantage, Moscow did not anticipate its soldiers to be killed by a Ukrainian force that was much smaller. Vladimir Putin is humiliated and embarrassed by how Russian troops, numbering over a million, are challenged by Ukraine's military, which has only 1,700 soldiers. There's no doubt that Elon Musk will continue to use his influence, Fortune, and SpaceX and Tesla to thwart Putin's goals. It seems like Elon Musk will not stop blasting Putin's plans unless he ends the war in Ukraine. Do you think Musk will be the person who might actually end this war? Let us know in the comments below, and most importantly, if you want to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, then you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.